to what we're looking at, Paul. Some rain in eastern middle Tennessee continuing to work farther and farther to the east, basically into east Tennessee at this point, moving off the Cumberland Plateau. That's the most widespread rain. We're not done with the rain chances, not through basically the rest of summer. We're looking at some showers here in Simpson and Allen counties in southern Kentucky, working their way farther east as well. Not a whole lot for the rest of us, but we do expect more showers and thunderstorms to bubble up in the unstable air mass that's in place over the midstate. We'll keep an eye on this complex of storms off to our northwest. I don't think these specific thunderstorms will hold together as they try to move towards us, but the rain cooler that they push out could help to spark some storms in western middle Tennessee by this evening. Looking outside right now and seeing some sun peeking through the clouds over east Nashville as we look in that direction. A little bit of fog forming where some holes in the clouds have opened up, but that fog shouldn't be a big deal for the morning commute. Temperatures are mild. We're at 66 degrees in Nashville, also 66 in Smyrna. A lot of our temperatures have dropped off the map because of some data issues. That seems to be going around, but it gives you an idea of where we're starting. It's warm and it's muggy outside. We're going to see the sun breaking through, warming temperatures up into the low to mid 80s by lunchtime and then into the upper 80s for highs this afternoon in between the scattered showers and thunderstorms. So hour by hour temperatures are going to depend whether or not it's raining on you and hour by hour those rain chances are going to fluctuate. Best chance is going to be from midday through the afternoon, but still that better chance of scattered storms will be lingering in northwestern middle Tennessee as we head into this evening. This type of weather pattern is going to repeat itself even though there are going to be some day to day fluctuations in our best rain chances all the way through the holiday weekend into next week. Looks like the lowest rain chances and the hottest temperatures will be Sunday and for the holiday on Memorial Day. Melanie. All right, thanks, Paul. We'll take a look outside still off to a good start this morning.